Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Ah! Oh! The rope! The rope! Welcome to Fairmont Hot Springs Resort, which is home to Canada's largest natural hot springs. This is actually the third video of our three-part Cotney series, so if you haven't watched the two previous videos, don't forget to do so. Yeah, we actually just checked in. We have a really nice big room, and the cool part is it actually backs onto this green space where we're doing the video right now, and right behind us is the hot springs themselves. So as much as I'd love to jump in right now, we're booked in to go do some golfing. Well, as I imagined, it's a really beautiful golf course because it's surrounded by the mountains. And we actually got a bit lucky, even though they're covered a bit in cloud. It's not raining right now, which is a good thing because it was raining all the way coming here. And today we're just going to play nine holes. I'm always so afraid to hit the ground so hard because it hurts. We just found a golf ball broken on the grass. So in case you're wondering how it looks in the inside, I'm not sure what's the inside, but it's hard. I guess that's why they can do a lot of damage. Well, this first hole is a par five, and this is gonna be my fifth shot. So if I can get it directly into the hole from here, I'll oh. hit par. <laughs> I don't think so. Sorry, BB. I yeah. don't doubt on your skills, this but... Could, this could be the best shot in my history of golf. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. No, he's not gonna make it. <laughs> it would be so nice to have a house here. Well, it's pretty bumpy here. <laughs> Maybe because of all the gophers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that's it. I actually finished the ninth hole on par five. That's a fluke. <laughs> but yeah, we got really lucky with the weather and the mountains opened up, so it's really beautiful. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was crashed with uh, the car. Well, our food was extremely delicious and we're now dressed up for tonight's date. I'm wearing this long, soft white gown made by the Fairmont Hot Springs Resort. <laughs> and how convenient, we're just a few steps from the hot tub. There's actually two pools here, or maybe even more than that. There's some for the public if you want to come and just pay to access the hot pools, but this one is just for guests at the hotel. If I was a little bit shorter, I wouldn't be able to sit. <laughs> We're here at Columbia River Paddle and we're gonna go kayaking on the Columbia River all the way to Radio. So this is the old swinging bridge that would have come into town. Um, you can kind of see in the bank here where the old road would have been cut out. And then when the paddle wheelers, the big ships would come by, it was on a rotation. So it would rotate open for the big boats to pass. So this is the Columbia Valley wetlands, one of the largest wetland sections left that are intact in the world. It's kind of interesting landscapes here because on one side it kind of looks like Drumheller, like the Badlands, and on the other side is of course the mountains. All right, well, we're leaving the wetlands now, crossing over basically, or maybe entering the Toby Creek, which is then gonna take us into the, the main river, which takes us all the way to Radium. 
you can see how the the water is running faster here This is such a chill trip <laughs> and very beautiful to see. If you would like to see a bald eagle, this is the place to come. This is so far, I think, the third or fourth bald eagle we've seen. Well, I'm pretty sure we're reaching the end of this trip. Are you sad, baby? Yeah, even though it was four hours, they go by so fast. Oh, my butt was getting sore. <laughs> well, after a day out in the sun, it feels so nice to finally arrive at our accommodation for the next two nights here in Invermere. We actually rented an apartment from High Country Vacation Rentals and they rent out a variety of vacation homes in the area. So we went down to their office in downtown Invermere, picked up our keys, and now we're here in our three bedroom apartment, which probably sleeps up to about eight people. It's really big, has everything you need, would be perfect for the family, or if you want a kitchen to cook your own food. But now we're actually gonna just unpack and get ready for another hot springs. This is Radium Hot Springs, which is located only 15 minutes away from Invermere. And here's where we're gonna end our day, relaxing our sore muscles from all that hard paddling. This must be something new here, because this used to be a hot tub, and now it's a cold plunge, so. Pretty much as cold as the river. <laughs> all the way. <gasps> Whoa, quick. Quick, all the way. One, two, three. Don't think about it. No, no, all the way. Don't think about it. Just jump. One, two. Yeah. <laughs> you still didn't do the whole way. Yes, all the way to here. Yeah. Good day, it hurt. Above your head, above your head. Above my head? Yeah. Oh, look, I know I can. You're making it worse by sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's time for another adventure. We're actually at Panorama Mountain Resort now. Normally we come here in the winter to go skiing, but this time we're going to be joining up with Toby Creek Adventures to go ATVing. Time to look tough. Yeah, here we go. Got to protect this noggin. Now I remember how fun this was and how sore your thumb gets <laughs> from pressing at the gas. And I think if Carla had grown up where I did in Northern Alberta, I think she'd be a regular ATVer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think I would like it's weird to see Panorama with no snow. This is like one of our favorite ski hills in the winter. Well, even though it's mid-June, we're starting to find snow now. You can definitely feel the temperature change. change yeah. The, yeah. But we're actually going to head in to see a waterfall. For some reason we feel that the waterfalls look more majestic when there's the snow around them. I think it's because it's kind of like you have the water coming in and then you don't see it and then it comes out from another yeah, angle. Water, uh, yeah, this is called Marmot Waterfall. Very beautiful. 
Welcome to paradise. Well, we've made it to the final point on this trip, right at the top of the mountain, pretty much at a really beautiful cabin. Yeah, the views were so pretty all the way, but this is the masterpiece. You're so close to the mountains. Look. Yeah. You are out of <laughs> Part of the fun. Oh my god, this is the car that starts with the car right here. How are you folks? What was it? It was super fun. I love this. I think this is the highlight of the trip so far. Let me just get a close up on that nose. <laughs> wow. I eat, not that close. So <laughs> Am I? And I kept my distance. It might be raining outside, but it feels tropical in here. What a nice surprise! They have pad thai in the menu and we love pad thai, so we both got the same. Today is our last day on our Kootenai road trip. So we're leaving in Vermeer. We're going to Radium Hot Springs, which is only about 15 minutes away. But since we can't check into our place yet, we're gonna go zip lining. Good job. This challenge is to see how many steps we can take, how many stairs. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, so we're now on the fifth zip line, and this one's 300 feet. I'm gonna try to start. <laughs> So what are we doing on this one? We're gonna try to get the bean bag. Why is this bean bag? There's no beans in there. <laughs> there's, there's, uh, there's black beans in here. No, so get in it. anyway. We're just gonna try to get the bean bag inside of one of those buckets. So you can either get a discount in oh, the escape freezy. room, in the horse thief creek pub and eatery, or a free freezy. Okay, I'm going for the freezing. I see. Ah, oh, you missed! Free freezy! <laughs> you did not make Musty Canada proud. So if you want to Neither do on. you. <laughs> we are on our way to the last line. It goes so fast. So we're now at the last zip line, which is the longest one, the coolest one, and the fastest one, right? That's right. That's 722 it. feet long. Me and see. Carla are gonna race. I have a feeling I know who's gonna win. <laughs> I know because you're heavier, you're fatter, that's why. Right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! go. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'll turn, I'll turn. <laughs> You're gonna grab his skin, Carla. Because <laughs> I thought I was gonna go backwards. <laughs> I couldn't go upside down, maybe because I was Me holding Me neither, I couldn't. That's it? That's it, you need at least two rounds. <laughs> Well, luckily we were able to check in early here at Bighorn Meadows Resort, which is our accommodation for the last night and a really beautiful one because we're actually doing it from our balcony, which has these really spectacular views. Yeah, essentially we have an apartment to ourselves. 
We have a huge master bedroom and bathroom, as well as a full-size kitchen, a living room with a fireplace, of course, a dining table, but the best part is a huge balcony, which gives us these amazing views. And we love good views, but as always, we have no time to relax, so we're gonna get back in the car and go do some hiking. But first, let's get some ice cream. Flavors, it was very hard to decide, but I went with my classic the espresso and chocolate fudge. It's a very good combination. And I went with banana fudge because it really reminds me of being a kid. There was an ice cream I loved then that combined both. It's a great option, and this is a perfect time to eat ice cream because we're about to go on a hike. All right, hiking time. We're gonna be doing the Old Coach Trail, which is a nine kilometer trail. Not sure if we're gonna finish the whole thing, but it does take you down to some of the scenic areas of the Columbia Valley and the wetlands. Hot again. The weather changes here so much. You're up there, it's a little bit windy, then you're down here, it's not windy, <laughs> and it's very hot. The weather changes here dramatically. It's true that the weather changes pretty often here, but part of that is because you actually have the Rocky Mountains on one side, the Purcell Mountains on another, you have the valley in the middle, so there's a lot of different things at play here, and it's actually what makes this area so beautiful. So many trains pass through here. Watch. I think we made it to the halfway point, so we're gonna turn back now. It's a pretty easy trail, you know, a little ups and downs, but pretty wide and flat. Would be good for hiking or for like mountain biking, and it goes all the way to Invermere. I think it's about nine kilometers one way, but there's a few other hikes as well, so we wanna go do one of those. We're now in Kootenai National Park, the same place where Radium Hot Springs is, the actual hot springs, and now we're gonna be hiking Juniper Trail, because we were told there's a really beautiful waterfall called Sinclair Falls. come to the end of the trail towards the fall there's a sign that says trail ends but it's kind of weird because there's no like lookout point to really see the falls you can kind of see them if you go near the river and they look like they're pretty spectacular but you don't get a great view so but the river is cool there's a lot of force here but we're gonna go see if we can check out the canyon now It's pretty spectacular. Like obviously a lot of people use this trail. It's pretty well worn down. That's why we came down to see it. But we also saw the official viewpoint, which is actually on the other side of the canyon, right off the highway. So even if you want to see these beautiful waterfalls and not even do a hike, that's where you want to go. Well, we're not going to make it all the way to the end because we've seen the canyon, we've seen the waterfall. It's getting a little bit late and we're getting hungry. So instead, we're going to go back to the car and go get ourselves some schnitzels. from the waterfall and as Matthew mentioned we're having some schnitzel for supper because this restaurant is Austrian German and it seems quite popular because they have a full house so as a starter we got an Austrian beer called Steigel okay. 
I love smoked salmon, capers, and cream cheese. Oh, best combination. <laughs> Well, after starting off with a more local smoked BC salmon dish, which was super good, we finally got our schnitzel. And I, actually, I went for the Oscar, the schnitzel Oscar, which comes with like a Bernays sauce, as well as shrimp and crab. And Carla went for the Jaeger schnitzel, which comes with like a red wine cranberry demi-glaze sauce. Both look good, so of course we're gonna share. So now that you try both, which one you like better? The Oscar or the Jagger Schnitzel? I think the Jagger Schnitzel would be my favorite of the two. Probably be extra good with a side of Jagermeister. But... For sure, we've gained a few pounds on this road trip, but we couldn't pass off fresh cheesecake. Like, even the texture looks different, it's like chili. Yummy. Oh my god, we're so tired, but what a lovely road trip as you could see throughout the three videos of this series. All this region is so beautiful and there's so many things to do. Yes, yeah, so if you want to learn more, of course, make sure you watch those three videos to learn really what this region has to offer. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, and to learn more about BC and the rest of Canada, visit our website at mustdocanada.com. We can see some mountain goats and they make me so nervous. They even kind of jump around, it's crazy. Oh, I just I heard rocks hitting the highway and I was like, something's up there. And <laughs> three of them. If they see me going downhill, they will laugh at me. Because <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs>